for the IT team to fix the other projector screen. I will use this singular opportunity to give honor to whom honor is due. And the person I refer to as the doctor of doctors, the professor of professors, the guru of gurus, the invisible God with evidence of visibility, more tangible than what a captain called tangible asset, is the true giver of knowledge. The President and Chairman of Council, Reverend Canon Professor Osisioma, all other council members, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good morning. As you can see on the screen, I'll be sharing with us the topic titled Digital Accounting and Emerging Challenges. I will start by saying that it is no longer new that we are in an era generally referred to as era of digital Darwinism. Refer to as era of digital Darwinism, where most activities in accounting and other professions are no longer done manually, but electronically. And I keep saying it if the learned men, the way they are called, that specializes in theory, theory, that is the lawyers are mandated to have laptops before they are admitted into the Nigerian law school. How much more we do this in quantitative and qualitative analysis? There is no better time that our professional body needs to encourage the use of digital tools than the era we are now. The fear of most people is that technology is taking over the job of the accountant. As a matter of fact, I spoke with one of the representatives of CPA Australia a few days ago, and he said in Australia, I think, okay, not Australia, another country, Malaysia, they already have a plan that in five years' time, they will not need all these semi-accountants again, like accounting officers. Because all the work they are doing, there are technology, there are tools that can do them. But for you, empowered in system accounting, in digital accounting, you will still remain relevant in the future. Because this technology we are talking about cannot decide. They still need accountants, they still need professionals who have a good understanding of the working of this technology to be able to interpret for decision making. When we say digital accounting, we are just saying services that are taking over much of the heavy lifting concerning calculations. Before now, we talk of manual, later we talk of calculators, but today, the speed at which technologies are emerging at a skyrocketing rate. And we advise our members, the only way we can keep abreast of these technological changes is for us to consciously be part of the move, not to assume knowledge. We should consciously acquire this knowledge. Digital accounting has to do with the application of computers, and other information technologies in collecting data, process this data into information useful for decision making, which you can print out if you so desire now, or you can save for future use. See, everything else has to be 
calculated. That was before. But now, just without your phone, either iPhone, either Samsung, once it is Android phone, with your phone, you can access some of these softwares online. So there is not a question of carrying laptop everywhere. All you need is a functional email address and internet access. We are coming to that shortly. That is part of digital accounting. Cloud. Digital accounting is the formation, representation, and transmission of financial data in electronic format. Let's leave all the theories. What are digital tools? When we talk of digital tools, we say they are tools characterized by electronic and especially computerized technologies. Digital tools. Digital tools are programs, app, or other software available on a digital device, e.g. iPad, laptop, smartphone, including those that are language, audio, and visual based. Professional colleagues and the inductees listen very carefully. There are some opportunities that comes once. When you miss such opportunity, for you to regain or recover may be difficult. We have a case of a graduate of accounting a few years ago who ran into our office in Abuja. He was looking beaten, battered, buffeted, molested, harassed, panicking. We asked him what was the problem. And this guy said, sir, I just lost a lucrative job opportunity that will fetch me 150,000 Naira for the start. A fresh graduate of accounting. So how did it happen? He says, during the interview, they asked him, you are a graduate of accounting? Yes. A professional accountant? Yes. They asked him the next question. What is the accounting software you can play with? And without wasting time, the guy was fast in saying, Sage 50. And Sage 50 is currently the most popular accounting software globally. That's why today we have Sage Online, we have Sage South Africa, Sage USA, Sage Canada. Uh, there's no Sage Nigeria yet, but we will get to that. But the beauty of it is there is a way you can even configure the one they call Sage America, Sage South Africa, for you to be able to use in Nigeria. They ask this guy, he says Sage 50. And immediately he said, Sage 50, he thought we are seeing an error where you will carry certificate, no skills to match it. They view his attention. They have on the table a laptop with all manner of accounting softwares already installed. And they gave him a task. Go and sit down, use that Sage 50 you said you are conversant with, and generate invoice. That was the task they asked him generate an invoice after posting the transaction. And the guy says, sir, I couldn't do that. And it's one of the reasons we admonish our members and would-be members, inductees. Don't assume knowledge, consciously acquire it. Hear this quotation. Say the illiterate of the 21st century is not those who cannot read or write. But those who cannot learn, unlearn, and relearn. Unlearning means sometimes you have to forget the old knowledge you feel you know to be able to occupy the space with the new knowledge. That's unlearning. Relearning means even that which you say you know a few years ago, things are changing. Every day we wake up with new challenges. The solution we have yesterday may not be sufficient to meet the challenges of today. That's why we admonish people, being current is the currency of life. Until you update your knowledge in the area of technologies, we may soon be outdated. Categories of digital tools. There are three categories of digital tools, as you can see on the screen. 
we have the all-in-one accounting tools. And when we say all-in-one, we are talking of accounting softwares. For example, Sage, QuickBooks, that easy, Tally, Busy Accounting, Sun System Accounting. We have also Bookkeeper. We have all this accounting software. We have the Budgetmatic, to mention but a few. These are accounting softwares that will prepare for you financial reports. You are not the one preparing yourself. Yours is just to key in the relevant data. For example, if you pick Sage 50, all you need to do is to create the company, create the chart of account, create customers, create vendors that you set them up. So that as transactions take place, you post. Once you are done with posting, if you want to view your financial report after every transaction, just click. In few seconds, you will see income statement. Few seconds, you will see statement of financial position. Few seconds, you see the cash flow statement. I demonstrated this Sage 50 in one of the schools, one of the universities I was privileged to be visiting as a lecturer. And after demonstrating the Sage 50 accounting, for some of these students, it was too simple to be true. And I asked them a question. I said, is there any question after my demonstration? And one student quickly raised up his hand. He said, sir, I have a question. And I said, what's your question? This student told me, he said, sir, if accounting is this simplified, why are they punishing us? Why are they punishing us? That was some confusion. That just a click of button, you have seen your report. I said, we in this part of the world, we are used to putting on our head or memory, if I want to use the language, crap, until somebody is able to download formulas. You will not hear other students clapping, guru, 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 they will be clapping. But in the developed nations, they prepare students for the industry. That's why we have some professional unemployable. Because while in school, they have been groomed to just put formulas. When you now come for application, they can't apply it. I had this experience in Southern University in the United States. I was invited as a guest speaker to come and do a comparative analysis of our financial report in Nigeria with that of the United States. And after doing all this demonstration, I think I had uh, some of the students recommending to attend it of digital that we use are crying there is a casting down. You that are equipped will be saying there is a lifting up. Immediately after that demonstration, as I'm talking to you by the grace of God and divine election, the dean of the faculty and the SOD of the Department of Accounting in that same Southern University have agreed that we should come and collaborate so that we train and teach their students because they don't have all these things. They have accounting laboratory, but they don't have this software here. That we should come and collaborate so that we teach and train their MBA students and some other students. Who tell you that black is synonymous to lack? No matter the color of our skin, the color of the brain is the same. Something good coming out of Africa, coming out of Nigeria. And I also share very humbly that what people rush sometimes to go and get from abroad doesn't really come from abroad, it comes from abroad. All you just need is to acquire the relevant seeds. Because the challenges in the world today is not all about paper qualification. Can we part of this paper with a really practical thing? That is what we are seeing in this kind of country. Then we have cloud based storage. We have a lot of cloud accounting. And in cloud accounting, all we are saying is that you don't need to go and buy accounting software to so install on your laptop. I'm showing you how to access accounting software.
offices. When you have a challenge to be attended to, immediately, as we are going to see in the practical demonstration I'm going to do now, it is not the time you will now be remembering formulas, especially in our part of the world today, that the human mind preoccupied with a lot of things. Insecurity is there, inflation is there, skyrocketing rate, food rate, everything is skyrocketing, everything not working. The formulas will not come, but we are saying we have this template, we have these digital tools that any time as the need arises, you just go there, use it, generate whatever information and interpret. I'm going to do a demonstration because I don't have been giving up 15 minutes left. Uh, there is a question here, we have case studies, we circulate this, and for those of you who have your phone, you don't have laptops here, if you have your phones, you can come out, bring them out, go to Google, please listen, the template I want to demonstrate practically now before I continue. If you go to Google, and some of you here, you have been paying your annual dues, EMCPT. You have not maximally utilized that platform. Accountant with value for money. How will you pay 5,000 EMCPT? And they are now encouraging you to go and maximize the information available daily. Please, I'm going to show us some part of the financial template that everybody can access on the EMCPD platform. And we have over 40 of such templates. But the other ones will only be accessible by those who have paid their annual dues. Because you have to log in with your email and the password that will be sent to you. As soon as you pay that EMCPD fees of 5,000, the consultant and the service provider in charge will add you. Immediately it's one year, you will be locked out until you renew the payment. So that each time you want to access all the key information, all these templates, I'm going to show you some of them. You have to log in. So and it takes only financial member to log in. Also, take advantage. If you go to that platform, let me quickly show us. If you go to the same platform, see it here. This is our EMCPD platform. Let me take you home. Home. To get here, if you have your phone, just search the search engine www.annan. EMCPT Hopefully you pronounce that Either Firefox Can use Firefox If you have any other browser Are we there? Anan EMCPT Dot Org Dot NG And press enter With your phone Digital account You don't need to have a laptop To get here Now Let's look up I just need one or two people to tell me the idea. On your phone, www.annanemcpd.org.ng and press enter. Now, if you are there, you will go to annual MCPD. Just see on the screen there. Annual MCPD, as I have here. Click on MCPD 2021. Watch. You have MCPD lectures 2021. You have the team. See on the screen here. Bank reconciliation templates. With this bank reconciliation templates, you can prepare bank reconciliation either for yourself or for your organization. 
system. They are already customized with advanced Excel formula in view. But the one we are going to demonstrate practically in another five minutes is the paper shared with you here. What you have with you is a case of a company that has been making profit for three years but cannot make ends meet. That they have made profit for three years but they cannot meet mature obligation. And the executive director is getting frustrated and he has concluded that accounting profits are paper profits. The accounting statement or financial statements are misleading. Paraventure, the MD, is also aware that accountants practice what we call window dressing, cosmetic accounting, makeup accounting, income smoothing, any smoothing, different terminologies. And the guy has engaged you as an expert that I need you to look at our records. I have management meeting in one hour. I want to know the reason why we have made profit for three years and we cannot meet obligation. That is the case in your hand. That is one year. And you are given one hour to advise this MD. How do you go about this problem? How do you solve it? Because of time, what you need this MD talked about making profits. Then the data given to you will change. Is there any profit in your job for three years? No. This same MD talked about meeting mature obligation. The next question that will come to me, how do we know our obligation for outsiders? Or where do we find out what we owe to outsiders? The answer is partnership or statement of financial position. So by implication, the MD wants you to prepare income statements for three years, wants you to prepare statements of financial position for three years, then what is the statement that explains the difference between liquidity and profitability in accounting? Cash flow statements. So by application, he wants you also to prepare cash flow statements for three years and also calculate the one ratio all within one hour. All right. 
Please, we have challenge here. They listen to me. We grab it on the phone. All you just need to do because of time, I have on the screen the financial template that will help you prepare last that will provide solution to that question you have. Are we there? All you will do here, because of time, I will just show us some part of it. You will complete it later. Even after this MCPD, use the same address, www.ananemcpd.org.ng. Analyst name, put your name there. Then name of company from your question, ABC. First calendar year. What is the first calendar year you have here? What do you have, please? 2000 and what? I will type 2017. Watch. As soon as I say enter, that zero has changed to 2017. Number of years of data. How many years? Once I put three, I say enter. You have 2017, 18, and 19. Ladies and gentlemen, the last thing you just do is to key in those data the way it is chronologically. 2017, what is the sales revenue? 4 million 500,000 seats. Then 18, how much? 5 million. 5 million. Enter. 19, how much? 6 million. 6 million. Enter. Then cost of goods sold is what? 1 million 900,000. One million what? Next, 2018. One million five hundred thousand. Next, who what? And I'm going to stop here. Automatically, this template has calculated plus profits. When you scroll down, scroll. Come and see other things. Statement of financial position is here, just see in the data. If you prepare it, then even with these two items I just keep in. Scroll down and see ratio, over 25 ratios. But because the data has not been keyed in. See the ones I just keyed in. This template has calculated gross profit margin. And so on. See all the ratios, current ratio, quick ratio, inventory turnover, and so on. When you scroll down again, see statement of cash flow. That means this template will prepare for you five years income statement, five years statement of financial position, five years cash flow, and calculate over 25 ratios for five years. Let me go and conclude. For some of us who desire to have the complete solution, and to also have some of the softwares other than this template I've shown to us. I have in my hand a book here. We have limited copies. Take advantage, the book comes with a CD. And in this CD, you have minimum of 15 other templates that you can work with. It's all about empowerment. So that the need arises, you will apply the relevant template. Just 2,000 naira, you can pick from our table outside. I will go and conclude. Time has not permitted me uh, to do that, but let's quickly see this. The second template, I just opened now. I want you to see it. It's the ratio, sorry, it's the bank reconciliation template. Please, for those of you who want to use that question, and apply it with this financial template. Anywhere you see red here, you are not permitted to type anything here. They contain formulas. The only place you can type is the yellow, the areas mark yellow. And all things being equal. From that question I've given you, once the balance as per just cash flow is the same thing as your balance as per the bank statement. We see what is coming, reconcile. But if they don't agree, you see not yet reconcile. That means you still have to work. Time is not permitting me. Let me conclude. 
what makes a man relevant among humanity. Awareness is there in conclusion. Let's awareness, action, and adventure. And I said here, the literate of the 21st century is not one who cannot read or write, but the one who cannot learn, relearn, and unlearn. If someone offers you an amazing opportunity, and you are not sure you can do it, say yes, then learn how to do it later. The richest people in the world look for and build networks. Everyone else looks for work. Accounting is an economic information system which deals with the transformation of economic data into information useful for decision making. It is fast looking present looking and future looking for us to remain relevant then as professional accountants we need to do this on the platform of technology and i said here the world is in dear need of the multifaceted professionals the world is awaiting your manifestations do not aspire before you explode thank you for your attention Thank you, bro. Please, a round of applause again for Paul. Uh, we are so sorry that uh, if we leave Paul to go on and on and on and on, we won't leave here today. Uh, but I know by special case of God, we'll give you an apple time by the next MCPD in Kaduna. Please, if you want, you can meet him personally. But due to time, we don't have time at our hand. We're trying to push our lectures so we can, we, 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 we can now visit our town value. Please, because of time, I just need two questions. Time, I will see two questions on digital accounting and emerging challenges. Well, the basic thing here is we are going to know that we are going to digital accounting, and it's very important. 
for this our professional. It's very important for our profession. Are you hearing me? We are going into digital accounting now. Online, online exam, online lectures, online cloud, basically. Cloud. <laughs> cloud. Very important. We need to have this lecture at the back of our mind. Please, I want just two questions. One from this side, one another from that side. Just two questions. We are just five minutes for this session. Please, Mr. Bunch, guys, ladies and gentlemen, this is the time for the brushing and answer session. We are inviting just two questions from the audience. We are thinking about digital accounting and challenges of emerging technology. Please, we are inviting you to bring your program on this very, very illuminating topic which is highly relevant to our profession. Please, can we get a man and a woman to ask the question? Please, from this side, anyone? Anyone? So do we assume or believe that you perfectly understand the context of the topic? You understand fully well? Okay. Okay, please, we invite anyone wishing to ask any questions, so please step forward, a man and a woman. Already we have a man coming, thank you. Please introduce yourself and your membership group. Good morning, members. My name is Agni Bae. My membership number is... Uh, 34614. Automation and security of your financial data. Please, we invite one more person to ask a question. Please step forward if you have any questions before the resource person gives answer to the question. I believe we are okay. Professor Adibari Adikana, sir. Please help us understand the yes. The essence of cyber security on the blockchain. Uh, thank you, my chairman. The people at the back, can you hear me now? I will just use this singular opportunity again I'm giving. We are waiting the arrival of the president and the council member. Uh, this question I'm responding to, I will use it as opportunity to do two in one. The first thing is for you to even access that cloud before we talk about the security of it. If you have your phone or you have a laptop, go to Google. Please go to Google. Then type Sage, Sage Online Login, S-A-G-E, Sage, leave a space, online, leave a space, login, and click enter. I want to show us how to even account, process transaction in the cloud. And before you can process transaction in the cloud, you need to access that cloud. Sage online login then once you click enter you will see options there click on save accounting login or some other person can even click on save accounting login direct save accounting login you will see a dialog box that will pop up in that dialog box if you check And for the security, I will answer that later. Please 
the second time, young and free men. Please, let's give a warm round of applause for ourselves as we start the fourth session of Anna 2021 and Kipping the At this stage, I want to invite the second resource person to deliver the second technical session for this event in the person of Dr. Mrs. Offer, Teresa Offer, who will be giving us a data on sustainable development goals and budget. Please, a warm round of applause for Dr. Offer. Good morning, Vice President, Professor Benjamin Osisioma. Good morning, all the council members present. Permit me to stand on the existing protocol. My name is Dr. Mrs. Nkechiofo. I want to sincerely thank the council members and the president that allowed me to be here this morning to deliver this lecture. Honestly, I know that I do not actually merit it, but by his grace, I have been asked to do so. Thank you all, and God bless you all. Good morning, my professional colleagues. I am here to deliver a lecture titled Sustainable Development Goals and Reporting. Before we start, because I have been told that the time is very short, I want to give you just a preamble of before we go into what actually is sustainable development goals the bible told us that in the beginning god created man and god put man in the garden of eden in the garden of paradise where there are things sufficient for man man was there with your sorrow, with your pains, with your suffering, with your death, with your conflict, without anything. But only to worship God and enjoy Himself. And we are also told that the devil was not actually there enjoying the situation of man. And he came and made man to fail God. When man failed God, he was put, pushed out of the garden where he was now introduced to sorrow, suffering, death, poverty, hunger, and limits. The list is unending. Man has been on it all this while. Man has been suffering all this while. The planet we are in has been filled with conflict, poverty, and many things. That was why man decided to look for solutions. We have been trying to see how can we restore peace? How can we restore peace? We are told that man has failed to go. God restored it through his son. But right in the world we are doing today, man needs to work hard before you can make it. Man needs to work hard before you can have good food. Man needs 
was to end it in all its manifestation, which include extreme poverty within the next 15 years. The target was 2030, that by the year 2030, the whole world will know no poverty. That was the target of the goal. And the indicators were that the number of people living globally that are living below $1.90 will reduce by the year 2030. And the proportion of households that will be assessing good life, good things, will also reduce. My people, when this study was done, when this projection was done, they believed that
now it's our to the circumstance of the national anthem as a national queen. By saying, O oh God of creation, direct our own thoughts, guide our just life. Chairman of Council, Reverend Canon Professor Benjamin Shuka Ushioma, other members of Council here present, past president of the association here present, distinguished fellow of the association, other members of the association here present. Gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen, our highly reverend members, it is pertinent to recall that this event was initially built for Owere, Imo State, but due to security challenges, it was shifted to Enugu. This singular decision clearly defeats the prevalent peaceful atmosphere and security of the whole city state the provincial capital of Eastern Nigeria, as it then was, and presently the rallying point of Igbo Nation. The Governor of Enugu State, Right Honorable Dr. Ifan Yuguayi, every represented here by Sir Pascal Okoli, deserve our commendation for living up to his social contact, contract with the Enugu and the Igbo in general. We are happy to welcome to Enugu State. The outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic struck the global business environment like a thunderbolt with attendant economic recession. Drastic changes in human relations, behavior in workplace, job losses, high health risk and fatalities. COVID-19 is not only a global pandemic and public health crisis. It has also severely affected the global economy and financial markets. 
significant reduction in income, a rise in unemployment, and disruption, and disruption in the transportation, service, and manufacturing industries are among the consequences of this disease mitigation measures that have been implemented in many countries. The far-reaching effect of the global economy has changed the narrative in the professional undertakings in our country. Thus, the need for re-engineering. The team of this mandatory continuing professional de development program, MCPD, is apt and clearly defined the future of accounting profession in the prevailing challenges caused by COVID-19 pandemic as the third waves continue to ravage many countries. And need the preventive and containment effort through vaccination and social distancing, there is urgent need to retain the curriculum of accounting program in the universities and polytechnics to inculcate modern accounting systems such as page 50, quick books online, zero, safe intact tax, uh, software such as CCH pro systems like access and consumer ultras to mitigate technological changes. It has become a paradigm to re-engineer this noble profession, noble profession accounting, to improve operational performance and reduce costs by identifying and eliminating non-value added tax. It is pertinent to reiterate that accountants, like many other professionals, we are made with the mantra working from home during the lockdown, both in private and public sector of Nigerian economy. The impact of COVID-19 pandemic has, has made the deployment of ICT important in the flow of data transfer between subsystems, the input data test, the output data share, etc. The actual value of accounting is domiciled in the application of state-of-the-art technologies in computation, data analysis, and report of findings, including the back-end operations, such as auditing. Account system and processes can, be be can benefit from re-engineering in the terms of enhanced operational and individual productivity, increased task handling and data sharing efficiency, improve access to business information, higher profit, and increased responsiveness. Interestingly, the COVID-19 pandemic has created an order of doing things, thinking differently and breaking through rounds. It is now a clarion call for all of us to embrace the challenges and opportunities this pandemic presented to us. Consequently, most business owners are, content are contending with scarce funds and low, low, low loan slash baby performance. Hence, the need for business process re-engineering that will improve operational performance and reduce costs by identifying and eliminating non-value added tasks. Considering the foregoing, there is a paradigm, paradigm shift from manual accounting methods to digital, account, to digital application and improved technological involvement in our professional college. As we settle down for onerous tax of knowledge transfer, intellectual fees, and informed interaction, it is pertinent to note that COVID-19 has come to live with us, and those who are equipped with latest trends best practices and state-of-the-art technology in the field of accounting will survive the uncertainty in the global economy as market forces continue to nimble. Therefore, continuous education and capacity building and honing the skills of young professionals will go a long way in reposition our double profession amid the shock of COVID-19 pandemic. It is a well-known fact that only those professionals who are equipped with integrity, service, technology, will reap, will reap the fruits of post-COVID-19 economic boom and rebounds, hence call for re-engineering the practice of accounting. We are the new branch, Mr. President. It will just you to know that, to note that we at the new branch are delighted to inform you that we have commenced the construction of our branch office at the first that phase two. A target date of December 2021 has been set for the completion of this project, which would have been, 
which will have the following facilities. Fully equipped slash internet enabled ICT center. State of the art conference hall. Offices, ETC. The completion and functionality of this building will, immense, will be of immense value to our members, the entire annual body, the accounting profession, and the society at large. This feat was made possible through the support of the Enugu State Government, the tenancy of our members, good spirited individuals, and corporations. Too, mirror, too numerous to mention. We are very grateful for your support and encourage you to continue to hit your, to, hit to our call for further assistance. It is gratifying to note that the Governor of Enugu State, His Excellency, Right Honorable Dr. Ifan Yubwain, amply represented here by Special Advisor on Financial Matters, Sir Dr. Pascal Ekoni has continued to appoint the members of our association into strategic positions of trust, such as Accountant General of Benigu State, Mr. Remitius Kobo, FCNA, Auditor General of Benigu State, Dr. Livinius Okoro, FCNA, Auditor General of Benigu State, Mrs. S. Joy Cheka, FCNA, and our very own uh, who doubles here as uh, His Excellency and Special Advisor on Financial Matters, Sir Dr. Pascal Okoli, FCMA, Special Advisor on Financial Matters. This is a clear demonstration of governor's strength in our association and credibility of its membership. I sincerely wish all of us a rewarding program and a fruitful deliberation. Thank you, thank you, and God bless you. Yes, let's celebrate this highly celebrated gentleman, intellectual and administrator. Permit me at this point in time to make an announcement. This announcement is for the inductees among us. Whenever we want to say the national prayer going forward, the national prayer is meant to be recited. It is meant to be said, not meant to be sung. So going forward, we should not sing Oh God of creation as a song. It should be recited, stated, and read as words. Thank you. Your Excellency, the Zedim Governor of Enugu State, Right Honorable Dr. Ifanyi Ugwanyi, who is ably represented at this event, by Sir Dr. Pascal Okole, former Accountant General of his state, and currently the Senior Special Advisor to the Governor on Financial Matters. At this event, he also doubles as the Chairman of the Local Organizing Committee. Will you please put our hands together for his Excellency? The President and Chairman of Council, all the members of council here present. I'd like to leave us with the third item on this program that is setting the general remarks on modalities for this MCPD. And it is the chairman of the MCPD committee himself, a member of council who will do this assignment. I have the honor and privilege to most respectfully invite Chief Peter, Chief and you will also learn to please make the modalities. That across is not good enough for the chairman of the MCP Department. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good afternoon, my professional colleagues. The President and Chairman of Council, 